Hi guys, I wanted to give you a quick update about what is going on in Italy on the beautiful island of Sicily. Mount Etna, the volcano there that keeps spewing ashes and lava uh, on a regular base, it's doing it again and it just started doing it. So the INGV, the Italian Institute for Geophysics and Volcanology is just reporting. They have just released a new volcanic activity statement they're saying the Etna Observatory informs that from their video surveillance and you see a thermal image and I'll also show you the live images, it shows that there was strong ash and strong eruptive activity at the Voragine crater. You see the location of that crater on top of the mountain. There you see there's different craters and the Voragine crater keeps being active quite a lot as of recently. So it has evolved into a lava fountain and that's what you also see on the thermal images here, how they shoot up straight into the air. And of course, um, this activity is still underway and it's producing a volcanic cloud um, that is not only the lava, but the ashes and the particles that are being spewed up into the air. Um, the location of that lava fountain is in the area of the Voragine crater, and that's at an altitude of 2,800 to 2,900 meters above sea level. So it's not completely at the top, but almost and what the infrasonic activity is telling us at the moment there is a further increase in the activity so it's not slowing down it's increasing further at very high values that's what they're saying also the tilt network shows a quantifiable variation so that always shows us is something expanding or something contracting depending what the magma is doing so they haven't given us that but i guess it's probably if the magma's coming out it's probably subsiding um we will know that further so they have also a picture here where you can see where everything the ashes and and the ash clouds are spreading at the moment. You see the planes there. So it has to be determined if that has a effect on air travel. If there has anything has to be grounded or stopped, we don't know yet. The lava fountain is in progress. And as I just said, it's increasing. The wind is blowing east, northeast at the moment. So we will have to see. Um, there is a picture or a chart of the tremor that was happening. Um, the INGV has released this and the tremors are increasing as we speak. And you can see this is a picture. Uh, the graph starts end of July. And then the last look in the red area on the very right corner, the black line, how it spikes and how it goes up. So this is more intense than anything that we have seen from Etna before when it was spiking, when it was creating an eruption. So this is really, really high. You see it here at the end. So um, that that much higher than the rest. So we have to wait and see what is Edna planning? What is Edna doing? And will it subside again? Will it, will it reduce or will it erupt for a longer period of time? Um, there's another chart that shows where the planes are flying, where the ash clouds are currently. That's basically a simulation of what might happen in the next few hours and where it has been, what the residents are saying, they're basically saying that their streets are covered with volcano, basically. Everything is covered with a thicker layer of ashes as it's spewing out quite massively.
and I have found a post from Lungomare Liberato. They have posted a picture here that you can see and I also want to show you the latest uh, webcam picture that the INGV has released here. When it started you see the the what I can say, the, the, the fireball that comes out of the volcano. And in this picture, you also see the Voragine crater is a little bit lower than the whole top of that mountain, which is over 3000 meter above sea level. So Voragine is, as I said, about 2800 to 2000 900 meters above sea level so it's impressive and if you look at the ash clouds i mean the whole thing started at night in italy at 2 39 a.m and we can see now that it's daytime we can see what it's doing if you see the picture here behind me then there is another thermal image um, from a different direction that is five hours later so to speak so there you see that the Boragine crater is behind that other top of the hill and then there's another picture also again the thermal images from a different angle so that you can see what is going on there and as we speak as it seems that the seismic activity since the magma is now coming out is easing off. It was during the eruption increasing and I've just, while I'm speaking, seen an update, it's falling down. Of course, now that the magma has found a way to reach out and it's flowing, so it doesn't need to rumble that much. It always rumbles the most when it is starting to erupt. So Etna keeps us busy and of course Campi Flegre keeps rumbling. There have been earthquakes. Vesuvius, Campi Flegre, basically constantly one per day or something like this after we've just seen the 4.0. So that keeps going. We have to see see what will come out of that and then we will have to wait and see for Stromboli if Stromboli has another idea and will do something again but we're busy with Etna at the moment but I will definitely keep you updated about Campi Flegre because what I find concerning is that these earthquakes just don't stop we basically see them on a regular base and then every week or every two weeks it spikes in an earthquake swarm with a significantly higher earthquake and I have a feeling we will see a higher one again in the near future at Campi Flegre. So another thing, I've just released another video, it should just be out, about that landslide that has happened in British Columbia in Canada. And that's amazing. A massive, massive landslide has cut a river in half. You get me right. The landslide has built a huge dam right away blocking off the river so now it has created a lake upstream a massive massive lake already so now everyone is worried will the dam break will it be sent down immediately and will that be a big problem or will it start flowing over that dam the video is very interesting it's the latest update guide guys check it out it's here in the end screen and i'll see you very soon i think because iceland is rumbling as well that volcano says i'm ready i'm here so they're estimating that we will see something in the next coming days or at any time warning time will be very very short as always and grindavik is heavily heavily under threat this time but also swartzengi and what are they trying to do and why what is happening lava could erupt or come up through old fissures in Grindavik. That sounds scary, check out the video. So these two videos in the end screen, if you wanna watch them both, go to my channel page. There's a list of all the videos so that you can watch the latest. Thanks so much, guys. Thanks for your support, as always. Thanks for the coffees. Thanks for your supers. You guys are awesome. Please like this video and subscribe. I would love to see you here on the Pulse with Silky. Bye-bye.